All right, guys. We are back again with another episode of Kurokono Basket. We have episode 18 of season three. You're up and ready to go. We are back again with the Almine match. I am looking forward to this. I'm. They ended it off with Ao no Kagami Kagami in the uh, zone. I don't know why it's taken me so long to figure this out. Yes, Kagami was in the zone <laughs> right at the beginning of the match, man, pulled it out. So I, I don't know, I just kind of want to get into it because I don't know how this is going to work. I feel like man's going to get tired out, like, you know, by the, how long does it last? A quarter, something like that? Or maybe longer, maybe it lasts for like half the game. And even if it makes it to like the end of the third quarter, the, the last quarter against, I don't, Almine. Did I say Almine? Sorry, I've, I'm, I've been meaning to say Akashi. I'll fix that with some text over earlier. But but no, the you know the final quarter with Akashi versus Akashi, that's probably the worst time <laughs> to not have the zone. But yeah, I'm just going to hop right into it and see where this gets us. So <laughs> let's go. Yeah. Zone. The worst part is, like, Akashi doesn't even seem too scared. Like, he doesn't seem like the type that would show it anyway. He seems to be good at covering for that sort of thing. Any 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 surprises, he probably just takes in stride, right? But still, seeing something like the zone in the first few minutes, he probably probably should show, like, oh, okay, that's not good. But now, man's just like, interesting. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, at least some of the kings are getting a bit stressed out. They can't stop him. When he's in his own. Yeah, it is it is a good start. Because we want to pull ahead as much as we can. Yeah, that's the fallback. Yeah. It's like pulling the plug. Yeah, it just drains pretty quickly. This thing, <laughs> pretty damn simple way of putting it. <laughs> I know how stamina works, buddy. <laughs> Seven, four, Kagami. Focus on yeah. Okay. What happens if you call him out while he's in the zone? Does he just stay in the zone? Does it pause? Oh, everyone's everyone's bummed about Kuroko when he's supposed to be going in, but he's smiling about it. He's covering Kagami now. Oof. <laughs> oh, he wants to. Oh no! If he can somehow block him while he's in the zone, that's not good. Not good for our spirits or Kagami's mentality. Oh, he looks a little startled. Is he gonna push through? No, he can't. It's making it there. Broke. Cracked it. Oh, he broke through it. Okay. The speed. Yeah, man. Just. Yeah. Okay. So it was like he was. I don't know. I don't understand it. <laughs> I don't really get how Akashi's eye works. So he can like when he's using it, he can just react super quickly. And like everything else is kind of like frozen. But this time Kagami was able to like break through and actually move fast enough. Mm, I'm still getting a bad vibe though. Is he gonna? Did he like let him go through? This seems a little too well set up. Oh, he threw him off though. Just, a little further. Uh, just the angles, man. The motherfucking angles. That's how he uses it. Yeah. He's got the intellect behind it. It doesn't have to be like the actual effect of Emperor Eye, but kind of the, the after effects of it as well. Like it's kind of like the butterfly effect. Like it doesn't really matter if the ability itself stops Kagami, as long as, you know, the the rip that it causes me it messes something up, you know, makes him step a little bit wider than usual. Yep. I had other options. Mm, and it doesn't. Kind of makes me feel like Kagami, yeah, he's losing focus. That's what I was going to say. He's getting a bit angry. I hate when he says that, bro. Oh, and he got tricked up. 
Joker faked the original? Your head is too strong. Bro got folded. <laughs> oh. oh. I don't know. They might be able to stop that. Come on, somebody. We don't want this. Ooh, we made it in time. You just thought. No worries. Then. Yeah. Uh, that's kind of nice that someone like Mitobe, who doesn't get a lot of screen time. Like, I'm not saying I don't like his character. I'm just saying he definitely doesn't get as much characterization as some of the other guys. It's nice that someone like uh, um, Akashi is noticing him and kind of underestimated him a little bit. That's dope, man. That's dope. That, that means like even like even he's giving him trouble. Oh, sorry. The reason I didn't say anything to like the whole Kagami getting tripped up by Omine, you know, using the eagle eye thing. I just didn't understand what he said. Comparing the fake to the original. I didn't know if he was talking about like Almine or himself with the eagle eye. I have no idea. I don't get it. I'm too dumb for that. <laughs> but it sounded pretty cool. Cold. Quite literally cold. Oh, I mean, just like... Chillax, bro. We got this. <laughs> Says that way. Man's even translating from. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, I get it. Okay. Don't need everything translated. Yeah. Look the team running together. Kagami's trying to focus on it all like himself again. Oh, the, the immediate tears. Or maybe sweat. I don't know what that was. <laughs> yeah. Did he get out of the zone? Yeah. Took himself out. Yeah, you know, I was gonna say like it actually feels pretty even altogether so far. I mean, I'm sure there's still gonna be a moment where Akashi steps up and just shatters our soul. <laughs> but so far, oh, even Kuroko's coming back, and that's good. That's a good step, I would say. Avoided Kuroko. Yeah, he was able to see him. Yeah, I was. I can't be. Yeah, so is this gonna throw like a wrench in the plans? I guess I didn't think about it too much. I, I thought it was a good thing last episode when people were cheered for Kuroko, saying they wanted to see, you know, wanted to see more of him. Where that's the reason why some of them were here. I thought that was like nice. He's finally getting the recognition he deserves. I didn't really realize it was maybe a negative because we want him to be it. It's just. Lost their will to fight. Bit of a bit sadistic, don't you think? Oh. Damn, what is that aura? Well, oh, him. Oh, it's like Kagami vibes directed at Kagami. He's like, what is this feeling? <laughs> this isn't right. Oh, damn, he is like Kagami. Oh. That's, yeah, man was hiding behind him the whole time. <laughs> Don't let it get to you, man. They're trying to throw you off. <laughs> oh, four. Oh, the whole finger thing. I forgot about that. Lightning dribble. As much as I don't like it right now, it is pretty damn cool. <laughs> Anything that has lightning around it, I'm a sucker for. Shake the defenders. Yeah, usually he could get away kind of no problem. Yeah, and they were even able to block his pass. Now everyone notices. Yeah. Touch it to shoot. Oh, it gives him more. What is it? Confidence? Like, that makes him more visible? Yeah, it kind of seems like Kuroko's... I don't get it, how? Oh, so Akashi saw this coming, but wouldn't let you shoot a dribble because that would have ruined? 
Phantom shot. How does it work? Just his body language? Not standard. Oh, okay, yeah. You see spearmen. Yeah. Even like the that little bit of light. Even just doing anything that got people's attention. So all of his like badass moments that he's had in matches, all of the like practice that he's put into it has kind of ended up being the downfall. Because man, like it draws the attention. That's kind of sad. So just trying to become better at basketball sort of made him worse in a sense. I know he's going to he's going to make it through it. This is Kuroko we're talking about. He's not going to let it hold him down for too long, but that's just depressing to think about. And should have known Akashi, you know, saw right through that from the very start. And why does it? Sorry, I did go back just to read these lines again. No longer the Phantom Sixth Man, not even better than the average player. You're worth less than the average player. Like, Akashi, I get that he likes to insult people. <laughs> well, he's not. He's just telling it how it is. He's one of those guys that uses that excuse. But. To say when you learn to shine dimly, you cease being a shadow. How does man just come up with this stuff? That's cold. Yeah, he's he is. He's just disappointed in him, being like, you really didn't notice that that was going to be an issue. Yeah, subbing him out. Oh, and that's really heartbreaking this time. Oh, this guy's like reveling in it. God. Comfort. Yep. That's what this boy needs. Help this man out. Oh, really? Man was only... How long? Yeah, how long was that? I'm going to go back to where they subbed him out. What the timer was. Three. Oh, two. 254. Wait. 302, 254. And it's counting... Down, right? Not even eight seconds? They sub him out for eight seconds? Am I reading that wrong? Yeah, I want to know what she told him in that small period of time. Let them destroy you. Oh. So we can leave. So, like, give them a false sense of security? Sort of thing? Find him together. Oh, so they just sent him in to discuss? <laughs> just to pass on the message? That's kind of cool. Just straight up, like, subbing him out for only 10 seconds to get the word across. Yep. Yeah, like, some of the boys still got their magic. Hyuga, Tepe. You're underestimating us. Yep, that's... <laughs> I kind of hope throughout this whole match they just keep exchanging blows to each other. Just ticking each other off more and more. Yeah. Everyone's just got to keep a good vibe about it. Thank you? <laughs> yeah. Appreciate the honesty, bro, but I am on the verge of tears. <laughs> Turn to the car. Yeah, you will. Nice. Yeah, man, they've grown so much, man. Cardinal barely had any time to be sad. <laughs> they, immediately, everyone was acting on, nope, we're going to figure this out. We we got this. And they pulled a Kuroko in on it, too. Okay. I mean, we haven't seen what he can do yet. I don't. It feels like they're underestimating him because, like, look at this man. He is like a cliche villain material. Bro's hair is covering his eyes, white hair. That's pretty evil, bro. Yeah, focusing on him. Hmm. Let's see. Let's do it on the first string. So there doesn't seem to be anything special about him. But in order to have him on the team, Akashi knows something about him. Just like someone I know. It, it, does he have the, someone I know? Does he have the same abilities as Kuroko? Like, can he go invisible? 
Bell is passing, or they can't see him. He is there, isn't he? Oh, and the, he's gonna see him for like a second because he comes out of nowhere. Oh man! So Kuroko's just like, "That's my move, you son of a bitch!" Straight up got me. And, oh, that sucks. So while Kuroko's here, like failing to replicate it, Akashi straight up found someone who can just do the same thing. Like, uh, it's a little different. Don't don't say he's better or something. Or all stronger. Oh, so he's just. So he is better. <laughs> See old model the upgrade. Dude, shut the fuck up. You don't gotta say that. I mean, but look at this guy. Bro doesn't look like he's even like enjoying himself. This man is just like a blank slate that got thrown in here. <laughs> man, just when we think like everything's going good, because even even though Kuroko like lost, right? Even though Kuroko has lost the way of misdirection, we were at least feeling not so bad about it. We at least were, there was hope that he was going to figure it out. But Akashi knows, like, you know Akashi took this man on, not just because he can fill in the place of Kuroko on his own team. He did it out of spite. You know that Akashi did. He's like, you know what? If Kuroko can see someone who does it better than him, then that's a dub. <laughs> that's a dub in my book. I don't care. I don't care if Akashi seems like he's just like cold, calculated, doesn't care about that sort of thing. He does. I know he does. So I remember them saying last episode that he looked like he reminded, who said that? One of them said that like he reminded him of someone, but I was thinking like, okay, I couldn't quite tell. I I, I knew his eyes looked similar to when Kuroko, um, like in the flashback, when Kuroko wasn't having fun with the Generation of Miracles anymore, when he was pretty depressed about it, his eyes kind of glazed over like that. The same that his are looking like. So I wonder if he's in the same state of mind, if he's also like in a state of, I don't like being on this team right now. Maybe not, maybe he's just kind of like a boring dude that's just, he literally is just a placeholder right now. They just needed, maybe the author was just like, oh, you know what would be a good idea? Some guy who can just copy the powers. Characterization? No, <laughs> doesn't. I don't even need to draw eyes for this man. He doesn't need to speak anything. Just gonna plop him right in there. It would be cool if he had the same issue that Kuroko had in the past. Maybe Kuroko will, you know, have a nice little heart to heart with him. Be like, hey man, you're better than this. <laughs> We're both better than this. <laughs> be kind of funny, actually, honestly. If it just turned into that, like, just motivational speech Kuroko to that random guy he just met. But yeah, that's definitely looking a bit problematic for us because we're not so used to going up against the misdirection, I guess. I don't know. I mean, maybe there's been practice matches where everyone went up against Kuroko to try to get it under wraps, but really we haven't seen any opponents who do the same thing. I guess we went up against Kisei who copied it for a little bit. But I don't know if Kisei really had down the whole like going invisible thing because, you know, Kisei was a noticeable dude. You can't just lose sight of Kisei. So he copied like Kuroko's passes and stuff. I remember that, but I don't think he was able to really copy the misdirection aspect of it. And this guy, he, he can straight up just go and he, he can just do everything that, that Kuroko can do. I take it. It even looked like he was copying his passes as well <laughs> with how powerful they looked. I don't know if he's just been watching Kuroko fan edits or something and just, you know, copying what he sees. But this doesn't feel good, man. This feels bad that there's someone just like him that we now have to go against. At least Kuroko has, like, advice. He can tell people, like, okay, this was my weakness. Maybe, you know, that can, it can work on him too. But Akashi did say he's the upgraded version. Which, that hurts, by the way. You don't have to say that. First, he says the whole, like, you're shining dimly so you're no longer a shadow thing. That hurt enough, bro. You don't have to say he is the downgraded, <laughs> lesser version of another guy. You just don't... That's just rude. That's not even bad sportsmanship. That's just being an asshole. <laughs> like I said, I guess we have some experience with it, but it's going to take some getting used to. Especially when you have Akashi on the team as well, plus the Kings. It's kind of like the Generation of Miracles were going up against them. The Kings, I don't think, are quite on... They're, they're definitely not on the same level as any of the Miracles. I'm not getting as much of a threatening vibe from them. Even, um... Blonde-haired dude. I forget his name. The one that does, like, the four-finger pass, the finger passes. That guy, like, he showed that he's very powerful, that he's similar to Kagami in that way. I just don't feel that threatened by him at this point, though. I don't see it as, like, a huge 
issue going up against him and the other two kings, the uncrowned kings. I think they're, they might even be like some of the easier ones to get past, if I'm being honest. I'm more, I'm more stressed about the Kuroko copycat than I am about those three. <laughs> Which is kind of sad, because I think that's not supposed to be the case. Maybe I'm just not taking them seriously enough. I'm probably underestimating them. But Akashi, man, he's just as intimidating. Bro beat Kagami while he was in the zone. He's talking shit to Kuroko like there's no end. <laughs> and he just doesn't ever seem nervous. Like, even though he was losing in the first half, as soon as Kagami pulled out the zone, I'm sure Akashi, like, immediately had the solution in his head he just needed time to work it out or maybe he wanted to give them he wanted to let them think that they had a chance just so that that ruins their spirits a little bit more that's kind of what akashi does is he just kind of bides his time and waits for the best opportune moment to do it he's being classic akashi and this was just the first quarter bro or no was it the second quarter no we got into the second quarter we got into the start so if each episode is like one quarter they're, they're dragging this out pretty good. And I'm okay with that because Akashi is such an intimidating rival to go up against. It's interesting seeing everything he does. I didn't understand all that he said, like I said about the, when he was going up against Kagami and beat him and said that like copying thing. I'm sure it's the most simple thing that I'm, I'm just not clicking on. But still, I didn't quite get that. But he's still fucking intimidating, bro. I'm still scared of that man. And I'm scared of the rest of the team a little bit. But... I'm happy that this uh, th the match doesn't feel so incredibly one-sided. Like, yeah, this sucks. What just happened sucks. But I still feel like we haven't... Like, we won't take it too bad for too long, I don't think. Like, I really have faith in our team. I, I don't know if it's, like, Kagami or... I think it's just all of them. Like, they're all doing so great so far. I don't even think this will really get in their heads. Maybe Kuroko. Maybe Kuroko, this will get in his head a lot. But I think the rest of them will probably recover pretty quickly, which... You know, they've shown to be able to do already. They've, they've been recovering. Like, they're basically all on the top of their game right now. No matter what's thrown at them, I think they're going to handle it fairly well. It might take some time, I guess, to figure this thing out, like how to deal with him. But still, like, I'm, I'm happy with what they're doing. Like, it doesn't feel so incredibly overpowered. Like, kind of when we were going up against Aumine, that match sort of felt like it was more one-sided most of the time and then we did pick up we were able to pick up um at one point but this one at least right from the start it felt like we weren't doing too bad we were doing okay and that just that feels good it feels good that akashi's not like wiping the floor with us right now <laughs> but yeah at least we know that like kagami he's still i think he can still pull out the zone he has enough stamina left he can probably pull it out if he needs to i don't know if it would help against this kuroko type player I don't think so. I think even then he would probably have trouble keeping up with him just because he doesn't have an eagle eye or anything like that, even in the zone. It would probably be difficult to be like fast enough to... It's not really about speed. It's just about being able to notice him. I don't know what we're going to do right off the bat to try to like counteract his power, but at least, at least we are kind of understanding of it. We know about it a little bit. It's not like it's this new thing to deal with. I'm sure we'll find some option. I'm sure we'll find some way of dealing with it. Um, I don't know. I don't know what. <laughs> I'm not going to pretend to be as uh, intelligent or as strategic as any of the, you know, actual basketball players who might play, who or anybody who watches basketball. I don't know shit. I don't know what to do in this situation. But hey, I'm just here. I'm here for the ride. I'm enjoying it. Honestly, I might end the video off there. I don't have much else to say. I don't think there's much to say like there, this was a good episode i enjoyed it i enjoyed the kind of back and forth between some of the players and you know learning you know it was a good plot twist having a kodoko player that was cool i'm i'm glad that it kind of feels like it needed to happen eventually someone who who has the exact same powers as kodoko i should have seen it coming maybe as soon as i saw that character because he was kind of like in the background, unnoticeable, which is the entire point of Kuroko. I really should have clued into that. You know what? I'm happy that we finally, that we are getting something like that. I want to, I feel like it'll be very therapeutic for Kuroko to be able to beat someone like himself. Especially now that Akashi said he was the upgraded version. That would just sting. And Kuroko needs that revenge. <laughs> anyway, I think that's it. 
So if you guys enjoyed, please be sure to drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you want to stay updated on this series or check out any of the other series I'm doing or have done on my channel. Comment down below with your thoughts on episode, video, whatever you want to say, just no spoilers, obviously. I do have a Patreon link down in the description. If you want to help to support me a little bit more, that is highly appreciated. Plus, gives you early access to the videos and that's pretty good. That's, that's pretty cool on your part. So yeah, that's it. So I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll talk to you all later. Peace.